We don't want to sing new songs sometimes. We like the songs that we sing back in village. If you like the songs you sang in village, go back to the village. You are here because you're going international. He want you to have the sight of international. You're here to overcome the international. God is very amazing. Why do those future generations get changed? Because of the songs that their ancestors sang. That's why some songs we need to start changing. Some songs we need to rest from our church. Some songs we don't even need to sing anymore. We, I also rest so, so many songs in my life. There was a song that I really liked when I first ch- got into the kingdom of God. Every time I sing the song, I cry. What song is that? It's a song that says, I don't have some things to eat sometimes. I don't have things to wear sometimes. Who get that song? Uh, it is a song for chin, chin, the, the chin place. When I first got into the kingdom of God, I always cry when I hear the song. Because the song in my life is always the same. Why? Because I don't really have anything to eat. I don't, after I sing this song, I don't know where else should I go eat. After I sing this song, I don't have any clothes I could change into. Some songs are the same with your life. Every time I sing this song, I cry. Why? Because I'm like that. Now I rest that song from my life. I always have food to eat. I always have clothes to wear. I am always on the phone. I don't need to sing that song anymore. If, even if you sing the song I rest that part that's why there are some songs that you need to retire in your life I hope that you can retire it fast or your future and your generation have to face as exactly that's why worship leaders people who are in the church people are singing because it's good to a song it is like you're cursing your future generation you may say because it's a good song it is not a blessing for your children sing the songs of prophecy you need to sing songs of prophecy for children you have to give life a place to those songs I hope you may understand there are songs blaming God there are also verses that says new songs there are eight times that says new song every time they says new song in a song of something amazing happens. they don't sing this new song in a time of happiness I want to show verse 2 what the psalmist says in here is in verse 2 he says in here in verse 2 he brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of my merry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my going. What does the psalmist say? There is a horrible pit. There is merry clay around me. He is not surrounded with good things. He is in a horrible place. It is a horrible clay. What happened here is that 
God didn't let him fall down in that clay, but on a rock. His surrounding is only destroyed. Even if my surrounding is destroyed, I will not be destroyed. My feet will not fall in that clay, but on a rock. Your, ro- your feet are on a rock. Your feet are on a rock that is Jesus. So he says in here, in verse 3, in verse 3, in verse three he put a new song in my mouth the bad things doesn't happen for nothing you're not supposed to cry and complain to God when those things happen you need to sing a new song you need to sing a new song God gave you a chance to sing a new song in this world you will be facing a lot of problems the economy is going down it is not time for us to complain this time is for us to sing a new song if you want your feet to stand on a rock your mouth needs to start singing a new song let's all praise that God New songs has meanings. If you learn about this uh, year, Psalms 40 has uh, uh, the year 1940 events in it. What happened in 1940? It is a time of World War II. The whole world was going to ruin. Many thousands of people are dying. Every day they're only hearing bad news. Everyone has to be scared because every country is uh, threatening each other with bombs. But what the psalmist says in here, in that horrible pit, I am going to sing a new song. I am not going to cry or complain, but sing a new song. Because he says, I want to sing a new song. What also happened in 1940? There is a revival on earth in that 1940. Who came up in that 1940? Billy Graham. There is a pastor that was named after Billy Graham. He started preaching, God is alive. He started gathering young people in New York, Chicago, and in the streets. American gospel movement uh, leading Pastor Billy Graham came up. The new generation that changed people's life started to come up. The world is in the middle of a war. But since the psalmist said, I'm going to sing a new song, the younger generation came up and sang a new song. He brought so many young people to the God. And there was a guy named Oral Roberts. He preached and he healed and he cast out demons. And because of him, healings happen and the demons got out. American If you look at American history, so many revivalists were the top in those nights. God used a man named Kenneth Hagen. Why? 
Because of a prophecy that said, I will sing a new song. And just like that, in 1940, a newer generation came up to sing a new song. What about our generation? Is our generation blaming in our situation? Or are we going to sing a new song? Who will sing a new song in this generation? Let us all praise God. Let us all praise God. Let us all praise God. Let's all praise God. If you are going to sing a new song, you and your generation will do new things. If you still want to sing old songs, only old things will happen to you. Some people ask, why does nothing new happen to me? If you cannot sing new songs, what, what, and what new things will happen to you? Some people say, oh, these songs are so difficult. If the praise song is difficult for you, your life is going to be difficult for you. If the praise are easy for you, your life will be easy. You will be able to be blessed in your life. I will tell you. May you be a generation that sings a new song. May God bless people who say, say amen. May you become a generation that sings a new song. May your children become like Billy Graham. May your children be become like Oral Roberts. May your children be like Kenneth Hagen. I will tell you. It is this right now is a time of horrible pain. The uh, economy is going down. There is no peace on this earth. During the next three and a half years, there will be no peace. The whole world is going to lose peace. You are going to be surrounded by a horrible pain. But this is not for us. People who sing a new song will have to stand on a rock. You will stand on a rock that is Jesus Christ. It, it on a rock that is Jesus Christ. Let us all praise God. That's why when you sing a new song, it's very strange. Every single time it says in the Psalms, so many things they have Every single time it says in the Psalms, so many things they have In 144 Psalms, it says also in their new song. It says in 100, uh, Psalms 150, new song. I'm not going to say all of this. In Psalms 144. I'm going to tell this and end it. In Psalms 44. It says something about 2044. It talks about a new song. You know what connection that Psalms 144 has? It has a connection with Revelation 14. In Revelation 14, 1, 2, 3. It says in the heaven they will sing a new song. In Psalms 144, it says about new song. In Revelation 14, it says also about new song. For sure, on 2044, the believers are not going to be on this earth, but in heaven singing new song. Soon, the representation. Is going to come. You know how much connection it has? In Psalms 144, in Revelation 14, there is a number of one, uh, the uh, thing, 100,444. It, it says in here 100,440. For in uh, Revelation also 140. It says in here 144. In Revelation it's also 144. There's a connection in there. I won't tell much about this. I will go explain it the next time you call Sia This generation. It's a generation that has to sing a new song. 
Pani yoga the boat ule. Who agrees? Pani yoga the boat ule. Who agrees? Pani yoga the boat ule. Who agrees? Mata yeo. Let us all stand. Alo mata yeo. Let us all stand. Worship the lava. Worship the lava. Tiri man ni tu ame du pani yau shile. Who will be complaining right now? How many people are going to complain about the situation that you're facing? There's so many things that you can complain about. I don't want to sometimes go to believers' house. And when we go on a trip, people invite us to their house. When they feed the pastors, they always talk. And then they start complaining. They start talking about the bad things in their house. If you talk all those bad things, nothing good will happen. There's always bad things in every family. In every family, there are bad things. As you say it, it won't change anything. With faith, we need to sing a new song. And with faith, we need to start blessing our families. I hope that you understand. There are some people that I want you to praise about your God says If you are praising, it will, you will get healed Tonight you won't be healed by prayer but by praise how many people are feeling diseases right now? How many people want healing tonight? Come out. People who need healing, come out. How many people are struggling with financial problems and family problems? You don't need to pretend. You don't need to pretend anything in front of God. That's why if you have that problem, if you need breakthrough in your uh, children, come and send a threat. Come out. When you praise your children would start to change. You will get breakthrough for financials. Come on, come on. If you need freedom for anything at all, come out. ปนเหยาะอยู่แล้วเย้เย้ปนเหยาะอยู่แล้วเย้เย้ปนเหยาะอยู่แล้วเย้เย้ปนเหยาะอยู่แล้วเย้เย้ปนเหยาะอยู่
Mami, look out for the Jama. Yes, yes, yes. You are already healed. Amen. You are already free. Amen. 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 Don't say ah, she no be aza baza. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Kau kain la. Kau kain mana? Kau kain ni, no. Don't say yam la kau macam mana, no. เดี๋ยวเท่านั้นสุขาท่านนั่นเลยดีโค้ชเย้ก็ย้อนเดี๋ยวเจ้าตัวเลยดีโค้ชเย้เลยแต่ใครแล้วก็เลยบุรุษข